So, Avengers Endgame um, is my most anticipated movie of the year in, in general of all time. Uh, so far, um, from what we've seen, I, I've had movies that I've been excited for, obviously. Um, last year, I had Infinity War, which was a big deal at the time. But now I look back and I'm like, this isn't even as big as Endgame is going to be, even though there's... More characters in Infinity War, there's going to be more of an emotional impact in Endgame. It's going to have a, a, a bigger story uh, than uh, Infinity War did. And really, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't. I, I have not been looking at spoilers. I've seen reviews, non-spoiler reviews. I've heard what people are saying about it, but I want to form. I want to go and, and watch the movie. And uh, get, get my own opinion. So it just came out in like the U.S. like uh, today, and so a, bun a bunch of showtimes were. Uh, the earliest showtime happened like a couple hours ago, but I'm going to go watch it tomorrow. But I am very very excited for this movie. I mean, it it's hard to explain because. I've looked at movies in the past, like um, The Force Awakens, for example, um, was a movie that I was very, I was very excited to see because I was like, we haven't seen a Star Wars movie in like 15 years, and it's gonna be awesome and everything, and I, I, I was just very excited for it. And then it came out, and I really liked it at the time, and I look back at it, and it's not even as great um, as people say it was. Infinity War still holds up to this day, and I hope Endgame will too. I hope Endgame's better than Infinity War, because the thing about Infinity War was there was so much hype surrounding it. There was so many people talking about how great it was going to be, and people were just so excited for it, and me, I really was. I, I was really excited to see it, but now I don't like it as much as I wish I liked it. A lot of people are like, it's the best Marvel movie or something like that. And I'm, I'm like, yeah, I get it. But I don't like it that much. And I feel bad saying that because I love Infinity War as a movie. I think it's a great movie. A great movie and a great Marvel movie. But it's it had so much hype surrounding it that it did, kind of destroyed the way I looked at it. Um, if, I, if there wasn't so much excitement surrounding it, then I probably would have liked it a lot more than I did. But sadly, it was it was hype that kind of ruined it for me. And so far, I've had way too much hype for this movie. Um, trailers, reviews, what people are saying, theories that people are making up that I barely listen to, but I uh, still hear every once in a while. But really, I'm not I'm not into the theories kind of a thing. But apparently, what people are saying is that. Theories don't matter. All the theories that people are making up can't, aren't really going to happen. It's it's going to be a big surprise. But the thing, the difference between um, the Force Awakens and this is that the Force Awakens didn't need to happen. Endgame had to happen. I mean, there's no way that Marvel movies could continue without Endgame happening. Endgame is the conclusion of this generation of characters that we've gotten to know and love over the last 11 years. Um, 22 movies. That's ridiculous. Like, two or three movies a year that we've gotten, and, and it keeps going and going, and they keep making more money. But it's not like... I, I don't look at Marvel as just, like, money makers, and that's all they are. I mean, they still manage to entertain. They're very, very good at marketing. Something struck out to me. Um, out of anything else, and this made me seriously want to watch it even more than I did before, um, and that was Robert Downey Jr. He said something that, that really shocked me, and he said, there's no possible way that anyone could ever guess what is going to happen. That just left me like, what is going to happen? Because the, if you write it on, it, on paper, it just sounds very simple. It sounds like, so it's a three-hour movie about some heroes trying to get back at a guy that just killed half of the 
population of the universe. And so they're just going back at him because they, he killed their loved ones, whatever. But apparently there's much more than that because it's three hours long and people are saying that still managed to entertain. Um, I feel like this is going to be the best three hours in a movie that I will get because any three hour movie I have seen um, just doesn't entertain me. I mean, it always slows down, always gets boring, but I feel like... I feel like this one is going to keep its pace and do a good job at maintaining that. Um, any movie in the past that I've had anticipation for hasn't nearly coped with this because the reason is, is that Infinity War left off at a cliffhanger. It left off at a huge twist that we never saw coming. And where the villain wins. And we're like, what's going to happen next? I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know what they're going to do with this story. I've been avoiding spoilers as much as possible. Um, and luckily, I haven't gotten anything big. So really, I, I'm really interested to see what happens. I don't, I don't know what they're going to do with the rest of this saga. And, and this is going to wrap it up. Um, the fact that they released... A Spider-Man Far From Home trailer um, before um, Endgame came out kind of disappointed me a little bit because I was like, well, they're spoiling the fact that Spider-Man's coming back because we saw him die. So the fact that they're spoiling that made me kind of a little iffy. But then I've heard them confirm that it's not really about the characters coming back because we saw it coming. When I saw them dust away in theaters, I knew that they were coming back. It didn't really feel like they were gone forever because I already knew that they were planning on a Guardians 3 and a Doctor Strange 2 and Black Panther 2 and Spider-Man Far From Home and lots of other movies. I knew that they were coming back, but how? I think that's the question. I think that's the biggest question that we're all asking for those who haven't seen it is how are they going to bring them back? So, it's a movie that the sequel left off in a place where you have no idea what they're going to do next with this story. And so, that's what I'm interested to see. That's why it's my most anticipated movie. Because any anticipated movie that I've had in the past, such as The Force Awakens, um, pretty much any Star Wars movie, Mission Impossible, any big franchise, um, they didn't need to be made. And and if you've seen those, you understand. If you've seen The Force Awakens, you know that The Force Awakens didn't need to be made. But it was still a good time. And it still lived up to the hype that it got. Um, even though it's not the best of movies, it was still a good movie. There's no doubting that. But I feel like Endgame is definitely going to live up to all the hype. Um, even though... Uh, a lot of people say that hype is a dangerous thing. It's can It can ruin the way you look at a movie, and it kind of ruined the way I look at Infinity War. Even though I still love Infinity War, I think it's a great movie. I just wish that there was more to it, um, and I just feel like I didn't get that. But I think that was just because of the people saying how great it was and everyone talking about how amazing it was going to be. The thing about Infinity War was... The movie, bef the movies before Infinity War did not really leave off where you're like, what's going to happen next? Like, Infinity War was kind of like, I'm just curious to see what's going to happen with this. But we, the, th the reason everyone wanted to see Infinity War because they wanted to see all these characters that they formed through a 22 movies. You know, the Guardians, Doctor Strange, Spider Man, all these characters come together and meet each other, interact with each other. That's what we were excited to see. What we're excited to see with this with Endgame is them bringing down Thanos, them regaining their um, friends back. And so we're really interested to see what, how that's going to work out. I think that Avengers Endgame is going to be the best Marvel movie possibly ever. Um... Even though I still love Spider-Man Homecoming, Thor Ragnarok, and The Winter Soldier will always be my favorite. And the original Avengers too, obviously. Um, but I feel like this could be the best, uh, or one of the best. 
Um, and I'm definitely going to have an emotional impact. I'm going to be surprised um, because I've been avoiding spoilers. And so I'm really excited to see what they're going to do with this story. So it's going to have a great cast. Um, it Obviously great effects. But like I think it's really going to leave off this this section of a gigantic saga that I don't know when's gonna when it's gonna end. Um, it's gonna leave off in a satisfying way. I'm gonna walk out of the theater. I'm, I, I'm expecting that I'll walk out of the theater and feel satisfied. And that's all I really want from a movie experience, especially one that's concluding a a like a saga. So really. Like I said a million times, I'm really excited to see Avengers Endgame, and that's why it's my most anticipated movie of all time. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, please comment below. Tell me what you think, uh, how you're going to feel about Avengers Endgame, or if you've already seen it. Um, let me know what you thought about it. Probably no spoilers for me or anyone who hasn't seen it yet. Give the video a like, and if you like videos like this, which is this is something I don't typically, typically do, but if you like things like this, then please, please subscribe. Um, this is Ethan Butler, and I'm out.